Hi, I'm Ken Heck, President of Phase Technology, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our absolute phase crossovers. We first developed them back in the 1990s when people started putting home theaters in the house. Uh, first home theaters were basically a left and right stereo pair of speakers with a center channel that you added on later on. And most of the time, this center channel that you added on acoustically wasn't in phase with the left and right speakers. And so when things went across the front stage, they would sound like they were going in and out of phase. It wasn't a seamless transition. So we developed the absolute phase crossovers for the phase technology line to make sure that no matter what speaker you chose with the rest of our speakers, they would sound seamlessly as it went around the room. The other thing that we did when we developed those is we noticed that most people no longer sat in a sweet spot. You weren't listening in one position in the room. Whole families were watching movies and we thought it fair that everybody in the room got the same on-axis response or sweet spot as the person sitting in the center. So the absolute phase crossovers do a few things. One, they keep everything acoustically and electrically in phase. And two, they have a, as wide a uh, on-axis response in the horizontal plane as they do in the vertical plane. And why is it important in the vertical plane? Because the center channel is a left-right speaker basically on its side. And so now this becomes the vertical plane. And where most people are sitting, they're not sitting directly in front of the speaker. They're sitting off to the sides. So it's very important that they get the same response that the person in the center gets off to the sides. Absolute phase crossovers are very demonstrable. It's very easy to tell that they're working. And the way you can do that is you can listen to a stereo speaker at your uh, local stereo store, or stereo pair of our speakers, and you can listen to them on axis in the middle, and then stand up, get off axis, or go down far below the axis, and they'll stay the same. The sound of them will stay the same whether you're above or below or listening right in the center. Do that with other speakers, and you'll notice that they don't sound the same when you're standing up as they do when you're sitting down. So when you put a speaker on its side, and you're sitting off axis, it's the same thing as listening to a left and right speaker and getting above and below axis.